Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about sliding mode controller based P and O NPPT algorithm for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So this is the model used for testing the sliding mode controller based P and P and O MPPT algorithm for solar PV systems. So this model consists of 250 watts PV panel. The open circuit voltage of the PV panel is 37.3 volt. The voltage at maximum power point is 30.7 volt. The short circuit current is 8.66 amps and current at maximum power point is 8.15 amps. So here you can see the IV and PV characteristics of the two, this panel, 250 watts PV panel. For different irradiation condition, the peak point will be going to be very, okay. For example, you consider for 1000 watts per meter square, the peak power is around 250.2. For 800 watts per meter square, the peak power is 199.9 watts. For 600 watts per meter square, the peak power is 149.6. For 400 watts per meter square, the peak power is 98.97 watts. So, depends upon the irradiation level, the peak point is going to be vary. So, this point is going to be extracted by means of MBPT algorithm. So, how that uh, sliding mode controller is to be into MBPT algorithm? So, extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So, you will see the details. And then this is load, variable load is connected to the solar PV system. So via boost converter. So we need to design the boost converter value L and C okay, based upon the PV power. So PV power is 250 watts. So under a standard test condition, the voltage across the P, uh, voltage across the PV panel is 30.7 volt. And then the voltage, right? Voltage here we are going to fix this around 50 volt, right? 50 to 60 volt. So for example, I'm going to consider 60 volt. So based upon this value, right? 250 watts, the input voltage, and then output voltage, right? We have to design this L and C value based upon these values. Power of the V panel input voltage and the output voltage and then uh, inductor ripple current percentage capacitor voltage uh, ripple percentage so based upon these things we have to design this LNC next we are going to apply MPPT algorithm so based upon a sliding mode controller based P and MPPT so here we have a P and to MPPT so the here P and to MPPT will be provide the reference voltage okay based upon the PV voltage and current. So you have to measure PV voltage and current. So it will be generate the reference voltage. Okay. So this is a PMD MVPT. So standard MVPT. Okay. Standard PMD MVPT. So this uh, that mean uh, about this PMD MVPT already we explained in my channel. Okay. You can see my early video about the PMD MVPT. So we will get the better idea. So next you can see here right. We are taking the reference voltage from the P and MVPT. And we are going to compare the actual PV voltage. So here we are getting the error voltage right. So this errors, uh, error voltage and the, the rate of change of error voltage is going to be processed via sliding mode controller. The output of sliding mode controller is going to be processed via hysteresis controller. This hysteresis controller will be generate the pulse for this HBT in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. Okay. So this is a control logic of sliding mode control based P and PVT algorithm. So here we are comparing, combining the P and P and O method with the sliding mode control concept. So that's why it is known as sliding mode controller based P and O algorithm.
So here we are going to test the model with the two operating condition. So one is change in irradiation condition with the constant load. Okay. So I am going to operate this model with the constant load. Okay. I am going to vary the irradiation for every 0.2 seconds. So every 0.2 seconds I am going to vary the irradiation. That is 1000 watts per meter square and then 800, 600, 400 and then I am going to check the the power from the PV voltage and current and then power of the load voltage and current of the load we are going to discuss right so now I am going to simulate this model here every 0.2 second irradiation will be vary okay, from 1800 and 600 and then you have to check the results so here you can see that for 1000 watts per meter square the maximum power, power is around 250 watts for 800 the maximum power is around 200 watts and then for 600 the maximum power around 150 watts so this is PV voltage and then load voltage and then this is PV current and then this is load current so this is PV power and uh, this is load power ok so for a change in irradiation condition so next time I am going to test the model with the change in load condition so for that I am going to make the irradiation is constant and then I am going to change the load for every 0.3 seconds ok so first if this load will be added in the system after 0.3 seconds this load going to be added in the system so we will discuss the results so I am going to simulate the model so after 0.3 seconds load going to be added in the system so here you can see that So when load adding into the system, you can see the load current change from um, here 2.8 times to nearly 3.5 amps. So because of change in load condition, right? You can see that the PV power, right? The PV power is maintained at the maximum power point, right? That means we are operating the panel at the 1000 watts per meter square. So panel will be extracted 250 watts in all time, right? and also you can see that this is a variation of PV voltage and the load voltage so this is variation of PV current and the load current for a change in load condition so this is the working of a sliding mode controller based p and algorithm for solar PV systems thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye